Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Sarah and I are out in the barn today. We're going to get this uh, chicken coop uh, project underway. Um, we've got a lot of work cut out for us, a whole bunch of mess to clean up, and that's where we're going to start. So stick around. I think you'll enjoy the show. Some food. All right, we'll get some food. You snuck out of there, didn't you? Oh, Easter eggers are giving us pretty egg. Got to clean out these boxes again. The other one get out too. The land of the lost cat toys. Them, That's why Daisy sits well, under there. 30 of them in there. Oh, they're all alive, too. Daisy, you getting them mice? Where are the mice at? Well, we're coming along pretty good. Got a lot of stuff moved. Um, <laughs> when I moved the stuff, when I moved the, the crate that we keep all the feed in, there was probably about 50 mice underneath there. So what we ended up doing was uh, we... Um, we closed the barn up and let the new uh, barn cats out and they pretty much came in here and wiped out all of them. So. We're going to get this other chicken coop built that Sarah and I have been talking about in the last couple of videos. Uh, we're expecting to get the little chicks here in probably another week or so, but it's time to get this thing built. So the plan is going to basically go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build the wall uh, right, off of, um, right off of this stud here and basically uh, the wall is gonna come straight across on the bottom, coming out from the wall about four feet or so, and then ending right here on the edge of this uh, little container that we got. And then on top, I'm gonna build the loft across as well. It's always nice to have extra loft space, so we'll do that. I think that the, uh, the door going outside for the chickens is probably gonna go somewhere right in here and uh, we'll get that all cut in. Sadie, you be nice to Deuce. He didn't do anything to you. So Van and I ran to the uh, the Menards last night and picked up a whole bunch of materials that we're gonna be using today. Hi, Pretzel. See how many chickens we got in here. Oh, we're two to a box, all right. Buddy system, I like that. Get it done. What are you looking at down there? Huh? I really enjoy these types of projects because it's less about uh, precision and more about functionality. Um, I'm not too worried about anything being level as much as I'm worried about things being square with what is already here for the other structures. You can kind of start to see this is where this wall is going to go and somewhere around in here there's going to be a door going in very similar to that door there and uh, we're going to put in a couple of uh, areas here for nesting boxes. So. Hey Sadie, Sadie, you excited? Yeah, I'm excited too. What you, Tula? Is Tula excited? Eh, Tula doesn't get real excited. Would you stop it? You don't need to be grabbing a hold of my hand the whole day. I know. Okay. All right. Go, go play. Go, go get into trouble or something. Hey guys, did you come up for breakfast? This brown and white one there in the back, that runner duck, the kids have affectionately named Kissy Missy because she absolutely follows Lucky around and harasses the crap out of him all day long. Most people for these projects prefer nails or more specifically an air nailer, but I like using screws because they offer the forgiveness of uh, fixing your mistakes if they get made. So you can always undo something. It's a lot harder to undo it if you've been using an air nailer. I might have this little, uh, little wall here and uh, what I'm actually need to do is build it out a few stud widths in order to get it so that the loft lines up correctly. So we got this uh, electrical wire running through here. So I wanted to have a nice clean look on this side. So I'll show you how I'll do that in a little bit. I'm pretty excited about getting this project done. Um, you know, Sarah and I, we've, we've never really done chickens for the purpose of just having meat birds. So this should be pretty cool. always the toughest part figuring out exactly where the where the stud should go and where the door should go I got a couple of ideas of exactly how wide I want it to be but one thing I need to take into account is that I'm gonna have some nesting boxes built into the side here right next to the door going in so 
that that's almost more important uh, than how wide the door is. Make sure them nesting boxes get in. So you can see here, I started to mark where my studs are gonna go um, on the bottom of the board and just kind of trying to get everything spaced out. I think I might end up with probably about a 36 inch wide door, which is nice. That's easy to get in there with rakes and shovels. and. Well, we got all our studs cut, and if my math works out correctly, these should all fit perfectly. That usually doesn't happen. Well, if you're unfamiliar with chickens, that one over there clucking, she's singing her little chicken egg song. She's excited about all the eggs being laid. So that pretty much goes on all morning. What do you want? Huh? What are you guys doing? You guys still looking for breakfast? You'll find it out there. When I make headers, I always sandwich a piece of plywood in there to uh, to make up for the extra half inch you need on the wall. There, just like that. That way it fits nice and straight. Sadie, 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 how's it looking? You like it? What the heck are you doing? Well, we're looking pretty good now. Kind of starting to make sense. Got some few boards to put up top there. The joist support for the floor. Plan on putting the uh, nesting boxes somewhere right in here. Real similar to the other side of the barn. Basically going to have the exact same design as over here. The only difference is there's only going to be two of them instead of three of them. So that should work out pretty good. You making eggs in there? I'm hungry, hurry up. Well now for this corner over here, I'm gonna have some studs coming down and I mentioned earlier that I was gonna show you something on how I'm gonna do this. I got this electrical line running through here and uh, I wanna keep it in place, but uh, I also want this whole area filled in with studs. So, got a little plan and uh, show you how I'm gonna do that. So I drilled myself a little hole right through the stud at the, uh, the height of, uh, that electrical wire and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw the square on there, mark a line and cut the board. There now I got my two pieces. Let's go put it in. Got one going just like that and this one going just like that. Got the wire going right through the middle. Nice and perfect. How's it going in there girls? You're the ones that make them pretty green and blue eggs, aren't you? Hey, look who showed up. Hi. Uh, did you guys have fun? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? Sarah so and the kids went to the apple orchard today and hung out with some friends, so that was kind of cool. Good, yeah. Looks good. Looks good, yeah. yeah. Things are coming along pretty nice. So, I'm um, just working on these uh, these boards over over here. I gotta get this board up here that way uh, when I run the supports across they'll be able to sit right on top of it and come out nice and even. We'll put the deck on top of that. Should work out good. So for the nesting boxes basically this is gonna be the center of the nesting boxes. It's gonna be right here. We'll build it but we have to basically make like a frame that it's gonna sit on top of 
And then what I did uh, for the one in there is it has a slant to it because I didn't want the birds sitting on top of it and pooping all over the place. What are you guys doing? Huh? You having fun? You guys got a lot of poop in here that needs to get cleaned up. Maybe that'll be a fun job for Vanny. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And then what we'll do is right above it will be the two by fours that come across for their um, for their roosting area. Vivian, you need to get your butt back inside the coop, like right meow. Been good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. So, gotta get some fencing on there and and uh, the rest of the plywood. I always like the project when you finish up the day and you actually uh, make headway. I always like the project when there's a cat in the background <laughs> scaling a wall. The nesting box is gonna be good. I'm looking forward to getting that in here too. So, it'll look a lot different once we start getting plywood on. Uh, we're back in the pumpkin patch and we decided to pick um, this garden's pumpkins because a lot of them are ready, so. Cute. along really well. We're loading up the back of the truck with all the pumpkins and um, we're having a pretty good harvest. Pumpkins never seem to disappoint. Well, I ended up making it pretty far on the build yesterday and obviously had to go to work today. So now that I'm home, I'm going to start working on the next thing. I think, uh, I think I'm going to focus my energy tonight on the uh, nesting boxes and get that done. And things are really starting to look good, though. Why do you insist on coming in here and eating all the cat food? That is weird. You're a weird chicken. Isn't that right, Pretzel? Well, I think for the design of the, uh, of the box, like I said, I'm gonna just go with a similar design to what we have in this other coop over here. And uh, I think that should work out pretty good. Uh, one of the things that I really like doing is, um, is using scrap lumber for projects. I rarely throw anything away and I rarely burn anything unless it's the smallest little piece of scrap it seems like everything can be reused the only issue with that is is you have to have a storage spot which is probably why i want all these lofts in the barn that's usually where i store all this old stuff vivian i don't know why you come over here you need to go in the other coop this is ridiculous you know and it's not that i'm cheap or anything like that it's just it's more uh i hate not having things so i end up saving all of this old stuff you know for me to go to the store right now would be 20 minutes there, 20 minutes home, and however long it takes for me to deal in the store. So, I mean, at least an hour. So it's so much handier keeping all this stuff around. And if you need it, you just grab something. I mean, even the screws here are getting reused. If you remember back a couple of weeks ago about the video where I was fixing our dock, I just saved all these screws and put them in the bucket. <laughs> There, that's looking pretty good. Get the little boxes down in there, and uh, gotta get uh, gotta get a front board still on it, but that's all right. We'll make the access panel on the back here so that you open that up, reach in, get the eggs. Hey, 
I stuck that piece of plywood up there to see if it fit and it stuck. Not one single nail in it. I can't believe it. They turned out perfect. They really look good. Yeah, they look pretty good. And we're, we'll have that access panel here just like the other side. So should work out pretty good in the, uh, in the end. I got to figure out, uh, we should go out and see if we have uh, enough fencing. Good idea. Well, I think the nesting boxes are in pretty good now. I uh, mounted up the first board for the little roosting area. Well, I went out and looked and I think, uh, I think I found enough fence to be able to do this. So that's kind of cool. They don't have to buy that. This is one of those times where obviously a three inch screw is way overkill for this job, but that's what I have an abundance of. So that's what I'm gonna use here. This is where it's fun. This is where things start to come together and take shape and you really get a feel for what things are going to look like. Well, my next plan was actually to get the uh, nesting uh, box door done, but um, I wanted to paint the hinges. So anyways, I'm out here working on the uh, little ramp that's going to go inside of the chicken coop. For the most part, these ramps are pretty much meaningless. I mean, I got chickens outside that are jumping over a five foot fence. They can go up the little bit into the nesting boxes, but they look cute and it adds to the coop. So we'll put it in. Are we finding anything good out here? You guys sure have been busy once the corn was gone. Well, for about the last 15 minutes, I've been having an argument with myself. My plan here was to, to put the door on and then put the hardware on there. Um, just like the other side like I showed you and then on the top I was going to just fill in that piece right up here with plywood but boy I I'm thinking about taking this piece back off of here and shortening it down and then putting fencing in between that way uh, not only when I come in the barn it'll be a little bit easier to see all the girls and the guy but uh, it'll also make for a better view for future videos to be able to see the birds a lot easier so I think I'm going to take it down Vivian, you are on my last nerve. Get back in the coop. I spent all this time building all these coops and then you just run around all day. I don't think you want to be in that coop. If you go in there, you'll be by yourself. Come on out of there. Well, I got a few more things I got to get done, but uh, there'll always be projects to work on. So I think I'm gonna save that for another night. Go mow the lawn kind of looking forward to it get a little bit of a breeze it's just so calm and hot in this barn right now but anyways thanks for watching i appreciate it and i uh, hope you enjoyed the show uh see you next time did you have a rough day yeah me too